Hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new ladle of country gravy. My name is Leon Lush and I do appreciate you joining me here today for, well, you know what? It's not a few short minutes. It's a long ass month in time today, okay? <laughs> so this is the follow-up video to the luxury pranks video I made a few weeks back that I ended up having to delete and re-uploaded yesterday. Uh, if you're unfamiliar with what I'm talking about, I highly recommend you get yourself up to speed by clicking this video up here and then shuffle your way on back over here and get ready for this shit show. Now, as you can tell, this this video is a, it's a little bit longer than my usual uploads are, but I do think it will be worth your time if you're interested in this topic like I am. So I'm going to break this down into three parts for you guys. The first part is this intro you're watching right now. I'm going to talk briefly about what led up to this point. The second part is an interview I did with Charlotte Dobre, who is a lovely Canadian actress, writer, comedian, who's also a YouTuber, who also made a video on luxury pranks. And the third part is my interview with the legend. Parker himself from Luxury Pranks. I'm going to timestamp uh, all of those in the description so you'll be able to navigate there if you so choose. So the original video I made on Luxury Pranks I uploaded on October 21st, almost a month ago now. And, uh, you know, just like most of the videos I make, I'm taking the piss out of, you know, something that I think is either funny or in this case a little bit uh, deceitful. Uh, and tried to have fun with it uh, like I do with most of my videos and I would have probably left it at that but over the course of the next several weeks um, Parker did reach out to me initially and felt very strongly about me changing the title of the video because it was painting him in a bad light uh, and I did agree to that and you know looking back on that I'm not sure if I regret it or not but anyways um, he also really wanted to, you know, get in a call with me to give his side of the story. He was adamant about wanting to be able to explain his side of things, which is essentially what I wanted to do here today, and I, I feel like I've done. Now, in that time, also, several days after that video was uploaded, about five days after, the video started to get botted, the views started going nuts, the dislikes started going through the roof. The video even had over 40,000 likes, and then over the course of, like, two days, they just slowly bled out until all the likes went down to zero. Zero. So YouTube caught wind of it because I made a tweet about it, which you can watch right now. So guys, we did it. <laughs> I'm so grateful and I'm honestly speechless right now because this is something I've been wanting to accomplish for as long as I've been a YouTuber. We finally reached zero likes, guys. Down from 40,000 just a few days ago. I can't, honestly, I can't, I can't even believe this is real. I'm so, I'm speechless. For you guys to support me by getting the video to 40,000 likes initially, then to just see it inexplicably drop slowly back down to zero is something I've... I've really wanted for a long time. So thank you guys so much for everything. Um, I don't even know what's next, but right now I'm just going to take this day and just savor this moment because this is something I've been working for for a long fucking time. So thank you. Team YouTube said they were going to investigate it and get back to me. They never did. My network reached out to YouTube about it. They never got back to them. I waited several weeks. The video was broken. The view count was frozen. My analytics were all screwed up. So I just decided to private the video and delete it uh, and then re-uploaded it yesterday, as you probably already know. Now, I know the video was botted, but I have no way to prove who it was, right? Now, of course, I have my own version of events of how I think it might have went down, and the timing seemed somewhat coincidental around the video I made and the fact that I was essentially calling out a larger channel that makes quite a bit of money and has a lot to lose if they're exposed as being completely fake. But I have no way to prove that who who it was. Anyways, the whole botting of the video is whatever. I mainly wanted to make this to talk to Parker and give him an opportunity to try and give us some insight into what's really going on over there because, I mean, you guys obviously know I feel pretty strongly about what I think is going on over there and I know a lot of people agree with me, so I wanted to just kind of dig in a little bit and see what kind of information I could get out of it. But before we get to that, let's go ahead and take a look at the interview I had with Charlotte, who had a very similar experience as I did with Carter from Luxury Pranks. Hi! Hey, what's up, Charlotte? Oh, I'm not a lot. How are you? Doing well, thank you. Doing well. All right, so this is, is it Charlotte, it's Dobre? Dobre, yeah. Charlotte Dobre, fantastic. Well, thanks for, uh, thanks for chatting with me for just a minute. Um, obviously, yeah, no as I told you, uh, in Twitter DMs, I'm, I'm making a little follow-up video about this whole luxury pranks fiasco. You are someone who had a video go up about them similarly uh, to mine around the same time period, and you had reached out just about something that happened, and uh, I just talked to Parker um, yesterday from Luxury Pranks for a while, and that was an interesting call, but just wanted to get 
kind of your kind of side of story what what kind of happened what happened with your video and essentially um i'm just trying to get a couple different angles here to kind of figure it out because i sure in talking with him it's tough to feel like you're getting a a straight answer and certain I, yeah of course i brought up your situation to him and he got pretty defensive over it so i'm curious uh <laughs> what uh so what was the deal um, okay. Well, yeah, I had seen your angle and I really liked it. And so I looked them up and I found a news article that basically, so on inform overload, we make news more entertaining. So we take, sure. um, relevant news and our commentary onto it. So I had to make sure that there was an article to like back up my claim because otherwise, you know, like I'm not, I'm not like, I am a journalist, but I'm not like, you know, we make sure that we credit people's work. All our stories are in the description. Yeah. Um, so I found a news article on it and the news article had kind of alleged that luxury pranks, you know, didn't, didn't um, contact the authorities after they did all these, these child predator experiments. And like, I just thought that was really interesting. And like, it kind of backed up your claim that they were faking these experiments. Right. And it's like, okay, like, I actually didn't watch a lot of their videos, which, uh, you know, kind of ended up hurting me in the end because I didn't see them call the police in very many of them. I think I watched like three or four and I never saw them call the police at the end. But apparently they do call the police in a couple of them. That's um, the I don't know how true that is, though. Like, I feel like they could have like staged that as right. well. I'm not sure. I mentioned that. So I, went I mentioned that to Parker when I talked to him and how pretty much like there's never any aftermath, right? All it does is it like ends very abruptly. And then sometimes there's a little blip on the screen that says we sent the footage to the appropriate authorities. And that's and that's it. And I asked him like candidly, I was like, Liz, do you, you know, send this footage to authorities? And it was it was really weird the way he responded. It was very beating around the bush. Eventually, he right. was talking about protecting the integrity of the investigation and all this stuff. You'll see it in the video I post uh, in a couple of days. But okay. but yeah, it just seemed a little dodgy because I had the same question. I'm like, you have these child, you know, alleged child predators coming over these very dangerous situations, right? And then these guys are just running out the door after. It seems like every time there's like this kind of bullshit little scuffle that looks, yeah, you know, that looks a little bit fake, sure. and then they just roll out and that's it, and the video ends. So. And it's so dangerous too. Like, what if these people, like, like if they were real predators, like, couldn't they be like armed and dangerous? Like, aren't they like putting, 100%. like, you know, the actress in, in, in danger? Like, the whole everybody on set is in danger. Right. Like, how do they? Right. You, know, you, you can't they predict some stuff? of these people. You can't predict how they're going to act if they're yeah. legit child predators. And I asked him that too, and his his response was, "Oh, we have we have nine one one on speed dial." That was his response. I was like, "All right, well, that's that's not going to help if someone has a gun or a knife or something." Like. <laughs> Hey, come on. No, it doesn't. In a, in a garbage bag, Yeah, right? yeah. Anyways. <laughs> in, in a garbage bag, yeah. Um, <laughs> you all right? Dude, you got a knife in here. No, show this. You got a knife in here. I mean, what child predator doesn't carry a knife around in a grocery bag instead of their pocket? Normal people carry knives in pockets. Child predators, knife in grocery bag. That's fucking child predator 101. So listen, I know we had talked uh, briefly just because you had noticed after your video went up, he had reached out to you because he was hoping you would change the title of it, which he did right. the same thing to me, reached out, started off, in my case, started off pretty nice and respectful, um, got very friendly and like, you know, we talked a little bit and ended up him like inviting me to go to Buffalo and it sounds like you had a similar experience. So how did your conversation with yes. him go? I, I definitely did. So actually, my conversation did not start off friendly. <laughs> um, he was right off the bat, like, where, where are your sources? Like, you're, you don't sound like a legitimate news channel or whatever, blah, blah, blah. And I showed him the source. And he's just he was threatening to do us if we change the title. And I just kept saying, well, is anything that I'm saying untrue? Because technically, if it's not slanderous, you can't do anything about right. it. And like, maybe you can you can, you know, press charges or whatever, but like, it'll get thrown out because like, you're, you're, you're not admitting to me openly right now in our conversation that any of what you said or any of what you're doing is like, is real. Right. And that's what I was kind of grilling him right. about. And, you know, like I did feel really bad for him. He was like, he was saying things like, oh, like, I just like, I'm really worried about my family. Like, I'm just worried about this title. Yep. And like, I'm like, well, like if it was really slanderous, why wouldn't you ask me to take down the whole video that, that's, you know like why is it just the that's title? exactly that was we had literally had the exact same conversation it was about like oh right. he doesn't want his daughter to grow up thinking he's like yeah doing this stuff and, and you know like obviously i don't want to like 
you know, at the end of the day, I, I always a, is a good news source. But I mean, the video itself is like, it's not going to do amazing. You know, I think even now it has like 15,000 views. Right. So like, I got to work the next day and I asked my boss and he's like, don't change it. Yeah. Like, don't change this title. And I was like, well, like, I just like, I feel really bad. And like, the response was like, brutal. Holy shit. Like, there was all these kids that were just like, like attacking me. And it had so many dislikes. Oh, yeah like overnight and I couldn't really understand like what happened really because um it wasn't that bad when I last checked the video when I was at work and then I came back the next day and I was like holy shit like maybe people are really put off by this so I changed the title and I regret that and then I noticed that you changed your title too which is when I reached out yeah, to you yep um, yeah. so that was right around I, the time I changed my title is when I started to experience somehow some sort of bot activity between my views getting pumped up and, you know, I've been in the YouTube analytics game a while and I can tell when views are being inflated unnaturally, right? Views go wild on this video, right. but none of my other metrics are going up like sub growth or anything else. And then looking back at the right. analytics, the watch time when those views were getting pumped was like maxed out, which everybody knows doesn't yeah. exist on YouTube. Nobody, you know what I'm saying? Watch times 50, 60, 70% at the most typically on an average. And this was getting like 98% watch time. So clearly something's going on. But what is far, did your video get like bot action too, or was there just more dislikes that, cause I did mention that to him and he got very defensive over that. Like, obviously I, I, yeah. I told him what happened to my video and he vehemently denied it, of course, but I told him your, I don't know, did something weird happen with your video too, or? Well, like I said, <clears throat> like I came to work the next day and there were the dislikes had just skyrocketed and the video didn't even really like hit that well. Like it was like at like 8K yeah. or something at the time. And I, I don't know, it was a bit weird. So I like, I asked him like straight up after he had invited me to his Halloween right. party. I was like, man, like five seconds ago, you were going to say you were going to sue me. And now you're inviting me to your Halloween party. So I asked him, I'm like, I asked him flat out if he had um, doxed me. And I kind of like, I, I, I fucked up the terminology. It wasn't dox that I was intending to say. It was body. Yes, me. yes, yes. And he, lo he looked up. He looked, he looked up the terminology. He's like, no, I didn't dox you or whatever. Yeah. But I was like, why are, why are you like looking that up? You know, because he was wondering, you know, if I was asking if I if he had bought dislikes right. the video. Um, anyways, so, yeah, he never openly admitted to any of it. Um, he was always like a little too nice. Um, but again, like I like I felt bad for him. Like it was just it, it wasn't necessarily a huge deal for me to change the title. It was just like, I, I don't know, like. Like I am, I'm all about just kind of like getting to the truth, getting to the nitty gritty. That's, I'm, like, I'm the same exact way. That's, and that's for me. Like, yeah, I'm not about, like, I'm not trying to expose people and like ruin people's careers, obviously. Like I get Carter, he's sure. got a daughter, like he wants to provide for her. I'm just curious <clears throat> in a situation like this, like it's one thing to like make fake pranks on YouTube. Obviously that's been done for de like over a decade. But when you start getting into the territory of like child predators and some of this real serious real life situation stuff that can be very dangerous, For sure. that's when it starts to kind of rustle my feathers a little bit. And I want to kind of get a little bit down to the nitty gritty and kind of understand what's going on, which is the reason I made that video in the first place. And the reason why I'm making this follow up and why I talked with him yesterday for so, you know, for almost an hour was just to try and I want to understand, like, if I'm wrong, like, give me something just, just tell me, it, like, and like, give me yeah. something that <clears throat> that will prove that what you're doing is authentic and, you know, what's going on. And he, I'll, I'll tell you, like, you'll if you watch the interview, you'll see, like, he did finally, after a lot of kind of dodging and running around with questions, he said at the end, I asked him straight out, like, so everything in your videos is 100% real? He said yes. And, like, he even offered to fly me out to Buffalo and have him and have me document the behind the scenes. And I said, well, wouldn't that violate your non-disclosure agreement i don't know if he talked to you about that where he's like not allowed to talk about these things because of these no. companies he says nda signed with he's like oh well i'll talk to them and i'll i'll, I'll break it for you and i was like all right so i'm at the point where i'm like yo all right fly me out dude i'll bring a camera and i'll see what's going on i also i also don't yeah. want to roll out to i'm interested i don't want to roll out to like, buffalo and then be on the missing persons list though at the same time because the whole situation seems a little yeah, weird like i don't want to yeah yeah it's like i don't want to be yeah. in that position I'm okay. You can catch your child. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, so anyways, yeah. So we both, it just, it was very strange. I thought that we both had pretty much the same exact experience around the same time. Um, in my case, uh, you know, I think the, I don't know, you know, as far as your video goes with the dislikes, I don't know if maybe like his audience caught wind of it and came over and started to, started to hammer yeah. it. 
I think maybe some. Yeah, so I don't. I'm not gonna. I don't want to flat out say that you know he botted your video. In my case, my video was 100% botted just due to analytics. But oh, I didn't mention one thing. Okay, the the dislikes went up and down. Oh, they did. For sure. Yes, they did. Uh, I forgot that. Yeah, they did definitely. So they were they were they were crazy. The dislikes outnumbered the likes. And I was freaking out, and that's why I agreed to change the title. And then I came back, and they were less than the likes. So they ch- they fluctuated. Okay, so like it was as if some dislikes so got deleted if, almost? Yeah, it was like either maybe he... Oh, no sorry. Uh, sorry, okay. I just got another call. Um, yeah, either yeah that happened, or maybe he rolled back the dislikes after I agreed to change the title, or like maybe YouTube caught wind of it or something. But yes, I did, I did get bothered okay. for sure. Okay, all right, cool. Uh, interesting. Yeah. So, you know, at the end of the day, I don't, there's no, there's really no way that we can prove who bought it. It could have been a, a disgruntled fan, could have been them. It just yeah. seemed a little coincidental. Obviously in my mind, I have the own, my own version of maybe what happened, but they're of course going to, uh, you know, pl- plead the fifth or, pl- you know, play dumb over it. And that's fine. And all sure. I wanted to do was kind of present our experience and then present, you know, the interview I had with Parker and his opportunity to kind of try and explain some things, put that in a video and, you know, we let the audience decide for themselves really. So, you know, like. For sure. And for what it's worth, I really like, I thought you did a great job. I thought it was like alarming to me that this was even allowed to happen. Like I, I really appreciated the story that you went with and um, it's unfortunate that this had to happen the way that it did. And, you know, but it is what it is. And like, it would be nice to know just so that like kids aren't like, Oh, like these, these YouTubers are making all this money, like on these child experiments, I'm going to do that. You know, like, it's like, you know, it could, it could feed into the problem too, which is what my angle yes. was about. So anyways, I appreciated what you did. And, um, well, I yeah. appreciate that. And I, I, I appreciate <laughs> you linking up on this call and giving me a little bit of, you know, what went on with your side of things. Um, I'm curious to see if there's any fallout when I post these videos in the next couple of days. Um, you know, I, I told him last night, I was like, listen, if I post, if I repost that video and then the follow up, if something weird and like happens with those and there's more bought it, it's just going to make you guys look a little more guilty in that, in that, in that case. But, sure. you know, well, listen, Charlotte, yeah. I appreciate your time. Uh, I'll let you go though, but you, you, so the, the YouTube channel you work on is inform overload. You guys do some news stuff. Um, I'll be sure to, I'll be sure to link yeah. that up in the description of the video and, and, and throw your That'd socials in there as Thanks well. So if you want to just DM me your socials, I'll take care of that as well. Yeah, definitely. Thank you so much, Leon. This was honestly really cool. All, all right, Charlotte. Thanks so. a lot. We'll talk to you later. Bye. You Bye. Too. See ya. Have a good one. All right, guys, so big shout out to the lovely Charlotte Dobre. I do appreciate her giving me a few minutes of her time. Uh, I do suggest when you have a minute, go down to the description. I'm going to have all of her socials linked up down there uh, and give her a look. I'd appreciate that. All right, so next up, Carter agreed to speak with me on the phone. So I rang him up on the celly. And uh, Nigel, if I could get a drum roll, please. Shut up, loser. Not, okay, Nigel doesn't know how to play the drums. Never mind. Let's just let's go ahead. Parker, man, how you doing? Not bad, man. Did I catch you in the middle of anything important? Hopefully not. No, I was just putting my kid to bed. Very good, very good. Yeah. Sorry, can you hear me? Yeah, yeah, I can hear you, man. You're good. All right, cool. Um, listen, as you know, like we've talked pretty extensively on Twitter DMs and like after I made the video about you guys a couple weeks back and uh, a lot of kind of things have transpired since then, so... I was going to make kind of another video about the situation and, you know, in my talks with you, you know, I've gotten to to know you a little bit. I wanted to at least give you a chance to, to, uh, you know, let my, you know, give my audience your side of the story a little bit. I mean, before anything, dude, um, so what's going on with that video? What happened with that video? So this is the deal. So I go on to explain to him the details of what happened with, uh, the video and the botting and all stuff that I've explained to you guys already in this video. And I do make a few edits throughout this call uh, just because I wanted to trim out some of the stuff that wasn't pertinent to the flow of the conversation. And still, I couldn't get it under an hour, but let's continue. <laughs> Anyways, the video yeah, broke. So- YouTube got involved. They said they were trying to fix it. Never happened. So I privated it. Long story short, I'm probably going to, I don't know, re-upload. And- if it, I mean, because if it honestly was botted, then I think YouTube needs to do more about that dude i think that they should investigate that and i think 
you should figure it out. But I can tell you that, honestly, I have no clue. You know, I was something like that. I, I mean, was it just liked about it, disliked about it? It was dislikes and views mostly, and then oh, and, and on top of that, I don't know how you this can't be botted. So the, I don't know what happened here, but the likes, it had over forty thousand likes, and then while this botting was going on, the likes just slowly bled out, and like over the course well, of two days, went all the way down to zero. So what? So you said you took the video down. YouTube didn't take the video down. Right, they didn't. They, I mean, they they were messaging me on Twitter, or at least replying to my tweets, saying they were investigating it, but they. Never got back to me, and the video just kind of stayed broken. So my plan was to just private it. I'm probably going to re-upload it, um, just to let you know that. Like, I'm going to keep the title somewhat somewhat moderate as to not, you yeah, know, dude, try... Honestly, man, I think I overreact, overreacted initially. I think that's your creative freedom. I mean, you can, you can say whatever you want, dude. You know what I mean? That's, yeah. As a career, there's nothing I can say anyways. But I appreciate you, like, kind of being understanding of my situation and... Yeah, if you ever have time, I know. I know right now you're recording, so this isn't really related to like the scope of the video. But I was like to uh, talk to you about, about some my perspective on like the way I kind of like formatted my videos and replaced it. But um, yeah. Okay. Well, I, I I'm always happy to hear you out. Listen, I've obviously we've exchanged a lot of DMs. I've gotten to know a lot about you. I, I don't know if you mind if I ask right. a couple of questions regarding some of the specific DMs, just. Out of curiosity that, you know, some of the burning questions. Uh, I mean, dude, if they're about, like, the thing is, like, if they're about, like, networks and stuff, dude, like, I really, I'm, like, not allowed to talk bad on, like, anything. So, like, I, I really, I really can't answer much. So, okay. So, my understanding is, if you can't answer, that's fine. But my understanding is that you're under contract with an MCN that made you sign an NDA, which is a non-disclosure agreement. Uh, so you. I'm under like, dude. I can't. I I really can't talk about my network, dude. I'm trying. I'm not trying to sue. I'm sorry. Okay. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not. I'm not trying to. I'm not trying to go much too into it, dude. But like, there's there's things I can and can't talk about, and I'm like, I'm just trying to protect myself right now, dude. All right. Uh, understandable. But do you own your channel, or does somebody else own it? I, I own it. You own the channel. Do you make the creative decisions, or you have producers, I imagine? Uh, no, I, I, dude, there's like a bunch of people involved. There's a lot of people involved, okay. Uh, a bunch and a bunch, but there's a lot of hands-on people. It's probably like six or seven people. Okay, and obviously, are you allowed to, to name the network that you're associated with, or they they like to remain private? Can, can you give me one second, man? Sure. Can you repeat that question? Sorry. Yeah, I was saying, can you, is there a name to the network you're associated with, or do they do they try to run behind the scenes? Uh, I mean, my network's, some, I mean, dude, my network's somewhere else, because my network is just the people that pay me. Right, but they seem to be the people you're under contract with, right? Uh, not necessarily. I mean, I'm like, I'm under a lot of stuff, dude, but I mean, the net, my network specifically isn't like, my network are the ones that just pay me, dude. They just take the kind of ad run. All right, but so I work with people that like hook me up with like brand deals and stuff. All right, so you're under contracts with other people outside of your network, then? Yeah, well, not really people, more like companies. Companies, okay. Now, it's my understanding too that you're th this company that you're under contract with is the same company that the channel To Catch a Cheater is under contract with, or is it To Catch a Cheater like Luis Mercano, Sam Bavnani? Yeah, Luis. So just for reference, Sam and Luis are the two guys that run the YouTube channel to catch a cheater. Um, and through my talking to Parker in the DMs, I I got the impression that they were somehow affiliated because they, they kind of do the same thing, just a little bit differently, right? Uh, and you'll see what I'm talking about soon. But that to catch a cheater channel, about five days after I uploaded my video on luxury pranks, the to catch a cheater channel got exposed by Inside Edition, who did a segment on how they hire paid actors to pretend like they're in relationships and cheating on one another, et cetera, et cetera. Guess what? She's an actress. And I'm reading for the role of Katie. Was there anything real at all about what you did on To Catch a Cheater? No, there was nothing real. My name wasn't even real. My age, my boyfriend, I didn't have a boyfriend. I didn't meet the kid who cheated on me 
or, you know, none of it was real. There. We've actually spoken to yeah. people that have been on your show yeah. and have posed as real couples, yeah. and they're not. They, they say that they're actors and that you reached out in yeah. order to fake a yeah. relationship. These are the couples that regret being on the show or they change their mind and they feel like, we'll take less backlash if we say we were acting in it than saying it's real. We want a big, over-the-top performance. Viewers really don't know what's real and what's fake when they see something online. This is an email I've never seen. Her mother could have made this up. This? These aren't real couples, are they? Email. They're real couples. Well, Luis Mercado is, uh, Luis Mercado is just kind of a buddy of mine. Like, I don't know, I just, like, kind of met Luis, like, about a, a month ago or something like that. We hung out for a little bit. Why do you think that? I mean, well, oh, yeah, oh, that, I thought that. I might have misread a, a DM you sent me. It said, it said a lot oh, of people. Maybe, yeah. It said a lot of the people. Talking, yeah, sorry. No, it's a. I was just going to say, it said, it basically you said a lot of people are involved in NDAs. That's that's pretty terrible. And you know, to catch a cheater, you so Luis is involved in one as well. I'm sure he's under the probably well, the same situation you are. The catch a cheater is like, the catch a cheater is, uh, they didn't, I don't think they said anything. I don't have to ask them, but I don't think they said anything because they were trying to go on uh, TV. So they want to sign like anything because they wanted to own like the rights to everything. Okay. But, uh, I'm trying to think. I'm just trying to think of their situation. Um, well, I know they recently, a couple days after my video went live, there was a, an episode of Inside Edition released that basically like had interviewed uh, Sam Bovnani, but they basically just exposed him. They like found a bunch of actors that were in their that were in their videos and were like, yeah, yeah. It was like, yeah, it was like their like first like video or something like that. It was like one of their first videos. I think they. I don't know if that's up anymore, but yeah, I did say Inside Edition did. Right, so they, so they, I mean, they found actors from multiple videos, and then when confronted, Sam was like, oh, no, those are just people that regretted doing it. They're not actors. They're actually, it was real. Do you stand, yeah. do you stand by that, or no? Honestly, dude, like, I don't even really know Sam. I just know Luis, and Luis is just like... Luis is just like the host of the show, dude. Like, I, yeah, I know. Luis, uh, on that. my understanding from an article I read is that Luis and Sam started that show together, right? So they probably have mutual interest in, or maybe co owners of the company. And, you know, from the inside edition, it's clear that they made quite a bit of money from it, which, I mean, the channel performs very well. I don't know if they struggle with demonetization or whatever. I'm sure they have sponsors, but. Can you give me a ballpark figure about how much you guys make? I bought two houses this year, so let's just say that. <laughs> their, channels, their channel is, like, getting deleted, man. Well, I, I did see that. I watched a, a, a video recently from Luis on his personal channel that they had to private all their videos because... Uh, yeah, but... Uh, but I, but the, I checked tonight, and the, vi the, the channel's back up completely, so I don't know if that they've resolved yeah, that or what. I think they got, like, two strikes. So Sam is the owner, Luis is in the videos, but clearly it, when, when Sam was... Or, excuse me... Yeah, when Sam was asked in the Inside Edition interview about, like, they, they she, the, the, the lady interviewing asked him ballpark, like, what kind of money do you make? And he's like, well, I'm not going to tell you that. He kind of dodged the question but said, I bought two houses this year. I bought two houses this year, so let's just say that. <laughs> All I'm saying is clearly there's they, like, have a lot to lose. My, my question is, like, does Sam and Luis, do they work with companies that have a vested interest in your channel as well as their channel? Do you guys work with – I imagine you're kind of like – do the same what? thing, but a little different. What does vested mean? Having a vested, in, having a vested interest in something means to seeing like you have an interest in a company or an entity, and you want to see it do well because it will give you return somehow. Uh, somehow, typically monetary. So, yeah. like, honestly, I, I, I have no idea. Like, well, I really don't know what you mean by companies, and I honestly, I really don't have a clue, man. Well, you're saying you work with a lot of companies that you're contracted with and you have these NDA signed with, and it, like, I'm just curious if any of those companies that you work with also work with To Catch a Cheater. Uh, I mean, they work with, like, by companies, I guess, what do you mean, like, brands? I don't know, that's exact. I mean, I'm just using your words, man. Before you said, oh, it's not like an MCN, really. It's like I, I'm under contract with companies. You're giving me all this information about having an NDA and you're not allowed to really talk about this stuff. So, like, what company are we talking about here? I mean, the thing is, like, when you sign, well, first of all, I don't know anything about what's going on with the catch a cheater. Okay. Like, I, I okay. don't know what companies they work with. Okay. Um, 
but can you like kind of repeat the question like like more what like more specific because like i don't know man i'm being i'm sorry it's all right i'm just i'm curious that obviously what you do from my understanding in the dms we made you like get paid a certain amount to do what you do there's other people calling the shots essentially about the content that you're putting out on your channel and someone else is probably getting the majority of the money and you're getting paid like a set rate to be the talent on the channel. Am I, am I correct in saying that? Uh, no, it's honestly, dude, it's just like, there's just a few people in Buffalo. We just own the channel, dude. Like, it's not like what happens is like, it's just like licensing stuff, you know? So like, Okay. Yeah. Well, I, 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 I'm honestly, dude, like, I'm getting kind of like really like thrown off a little bit. Why? I mean, what did you, why? What did you think I was going to ask you about? What are you doing? I, I, no, I just don't, I just don't, I just don't like know like the, I don't know, dude. I just don't really know what you mean. Okay. So let me quote something you said to me. You said, I can't discuss specific detail, details regarding what happens in my videos due to a non disclosure agreement I signed with my MCN. I would like to show everyone everything that happens, why it happens, but I can't. I'm stuck more than you can imagine in many ways and even contracted to make specific types of videos for pre prayed brand promotions. So my yeah, question dude, is, uh, it, so it sounds like you're a little bit of like a puppet on a string and you're doing things so other people can make I money. Mean, dude, I can, you want to, do you want me to like get someone who could better answer these questions who like maybe has like a little bit more knowledge of like all the legality of everything? No, like, it's all good. It's not about the legal thing, man. Listen, I just, I know I'm kind of asking you some hard questions because I'm, I'm curious because like, obviously when I make a video about, when I made my video about you, like I'm not trying, I'm not like trying to be a guy that exposes people online, but I see things and I try and call it how I see it. And to me, when I watch your channel and when I watch to catch a cheater, it is glaringly obvious that it is, uh, you know, it's fake. It's paid actors. And regardless of what the message is, sure, you're trying to spread awareness for, you know, the dangers of talking to strangers online. But to to build a channel on an, the underlying, where the underlying theme is deception, essentially by trying to essentially convince people this is real when it's not, that, I mean, that just doesn't sit well with me, even if it's, you know, the side effect is trying to spread this message, right? Do you understand where I'm coming from? Yeah, I understand where you're coming from, but I think you're making a lot of assumptions, dude. Well, I, I'm sure, but you haven't been able to give me anything to to dissuade my opinions and kind of okay, try and well, convince me that my assumptions are wrong. Okay, well, I mean, what about this? I mean, dude, like like I said, you're more than welcome. You're more than welcome to come to see how we film these videos all behind the scenes. You can document it, but I mean, I don't, I don't really think there's like that big of a burden on me, man. I just think like. I, I just think like this is just like an accusation and like it's, it's like dude like you don't I mean you don't know what happens behind the scenes dude of, like co totally of course not that's why I'm asking you to enlighten me and my and my viewers but when I ask you the specific questions you tell me you can't because you're under an NDA but then when I ask you what company you're under an NDA with you can't tell me that either so you understand where the pieces don't really add up to me right yeah I mean you can dude like you can come out here and like you can see how it's done man but like you'd have to sign an nda too so why is everyone under such strict nda rules like if i were to ask you specifically have you worked with paid actors to, to film preserve the, to preserve with the integrity of my channel the integrity of your channel that i find that kind of ironic because i feel like the integrity of your channel doesn't exist because in my opinion you're you're trying to convince people that these videos are real when they're not and not, I mean, just aside from like, just common sense, man, I've watched Dude, through. I mean, you're, I, you're kind of beyond me trying to talk about something else. I mean, I feel like, it, I feel like I've just been misled here. What, it, <laughs> what else was I trying to talk to you about, bro? And in the DMs, you didn't, you didn't mention, like, we were talking about this. You just kind of like totally misled me on the premise of this conversation. I said, I was really, ha listen, I was really happy to talk to you to try to, you know figure out what's going on with your channel and then it's just like dude you're like you're like trying to like accuse my videos of like things you know nothing about dude you saw the video i made you obviously know where i stand right like this isn't a surprise parker listen i i i called you because i told you in the dms that i was probably gonna re-upload a video and re-upload the video and 
wanted to make a video on the whole situation with what happened to it. And I wanted to give you the benefit of the doubt. Like I said, you seem like a pretty reasonable guy and give you a chance to explain yourself and try and give me somewhat of a rebuttal for the accusations I made in my original video. And so far, the I haven't... The accusations you made was that we're mocking missing children. And I think... That's dude, that, 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 dude, listen, listen, that was the title of the video, okay? Because I did a little but segment title, about that. But the title, if it's not true, and if it's, it's an opinion and you're not presenting it as an opinion, is slanderous, dude. Uh, like, I mean, that's like, that's like, non, I don't think that's like an okay thing to say, dude. I think we did a lot of work. I think we've done a lot of work with charities that you can contact and ask them about that I just think it's not right to, to use the word mocking in that sense. And that's okay. what really just didn't sit well with me. Okay, and I, and I understand that, and that's why I changed the title after talking to you and thinking about it. Because for me, that wasn't my main concern. Like, the way you guys kind of add the little missing children segment in the beginning of some of the, the videos. Children, dude, I mean, you said, you you presented it kind of as facts. as the missing children thing is we're making fun of missing children. That's... That was had nothing to do with it, dude. That was just like to add some a little bit good to spread some awareness. Dude, if you have a million people watching a video, you put that at the beginning. I mean, I I don't think that's a bad thing, and I know it looks awkward because we have ads after it. But I mean, dude, like the ad revenue is atrocious. You know, like it's just of, like of it's, course you know, I, I got to feed my daughter. Man. But do you? Like, but just to give you like to try and put some perspective on it from somebody who sees that from a different perspective. When someone's watching and you think, all right from the perspective I have where this channel is, it's a very successful channel. It's built around, you know, what I, again, my opinion is that your videos are not real. Those aren't real child predators. And in order to kind of take away from that and, and build good faith with your audience that thinks you make real experiments, you include these in the beginning. So that's just one line of thinking. Okay. I'm not saying that you don't have good intentions. Okay. Right. Yeah. But I mean, I, I think that you're, I think that you're just, presenting as opinion uh you're presenting an opinion as fact dude and i mean like this i just i just don't see anything right with that at all I well listen like obviously dude listen you're innocent and proven guilty but it's youtube i'm allowed to give my opinion i'm allowed to criticize on things that i think are a way a certain way right <clears throat> and people know that like i'm presenting this and i'm saying in my mind like it feels like it's obvious, right? I'm, I I didn't offer any proof, right? I don't have like a behind the scenes footage of of a paid actor. It seems so glaringly obvious to me that just a little bit of common sense through watching a lot of your videos would suggest that something's going on that's not okay. completely if, real. If, if something seems like that, like I said, dude, I will buy your flights for you to come out here and see how a video is filmed. I'm 100 percent okay with that. I will buy your flights tonight. You can document it all. So and are you that, saying that, you're saying that, that every all the child predators in your videos are legit child predators. It depends. I mean, dude. I mean, what what do you classify as a what do you classify as a child predator? <laughs> I don't know, Parker. You're the expert here, man. What do you? Yeah, I mean, I mean someone somebody that videos, somebody that tries to show up and f like have sex with a 15 year old girl. That's what I would seems to be the premise of no, all of your videos. That's not my decision to decide whether or not they're trying to have sex with the 15 year old girls. If, if these people contact me and they're acting suspicious, I'm going to try to bring them here and show who they are. Who? All right, so you're... Okay. So you're saying the people that you're setting up these fake Twitters, fake TikTok accounts? I'll say they're real people. And you're saying, of course they're real people, but are they being paid to be on a show or are they actually think they're going to meet up with a girl with the possibility the of... paid to be on the show is Chester and my decoy actress. We gotta make sure everyone's safe. Well, that was my next question, uh, Parker. Is that all right? You figure twenty-eight videos you've done, at least that are on your channel. I know some maybe got blocked or you've done that got deleted because of. Yeah, some of them got taken down for violence. Okay. Uh, now, in all of these videos, at the end, it just seems to like every single time the predator like escapes after like this what looks like a completely pathetic scripted scuffle, okay, if I'm being honest. And then they escape, and then you throw up this little caption that says, we contacted the appropriate authorities. Like, you're telling me that after 28 times, we're talking about dealing with child predators, very potentially dangerous people, dangerous situations. When the people you, enter the room, we have 911 on speed dial. 911 on speed? <laughs> but you don't know if that per... You don't know if that... Every, you don't know if that every single person that's ever came to our set. 
how come there's never been any police or any aftermath of anything that's ever happened? The predators just get away, and then it says, oh, we contacted the authorities. You don't show anything. Like, so you're just letting these people back out into the wild? Because in the United States, people are innocent until proven guilty. I mean, yeah. <laughs> I mean, okay, well, I don't know about you. had the proof. I mean, you had them on camera, but I just, that seems like a I'm weird... I'm not a judge. I'm not a judge, dude. Okay, pause for just a second and listen back to that uh, closely. I just, that seems like a I'm weird... I'm not a judge. I'm not a judge, dude. I'm not a judge? Are you, are you have someone telling you what to say right now? No, I don't have anyone telling me what to say. You got an iPhone? Yeah, I thought I just, I just thought I heard someone say I'm not a judge before you said it to me. I have a lot of background in the legal industry. What was that? It's like someone's in his ear telling him what to say and it came through on the call accidentally or something. Now, I know like with electronics and iPhones, like it could have been an echo, but like the inflection was even different. So it didn't sound like an echo at all. Listen to it one more time. That seems like a I'm weird- I'm not a judge. I'm not a judge, dude. I don't know, man. I can't say for sure what that is. Obviously I noticed it when I was on the call with him, but now watching it back while I'm editing, it just seems incredibly suspect. But you know, I can't, I can't prove anything. I can't prove anything. So I, you know, it's just my opinion, Parker. It's my opinion, okay? I'm not a judge. Are you, are you have someone telling you what to say right now? No, don't have anyone telling me what to say. You got an iPhone? Yeah, I thought I just I just thought I heard someone say I'm not a judge before you said it to me. I have a lot of background in the legal industry. You have a lot of background in the legal industry? Yeah. Okay, so All right, and listen, I I appreciate you trying to talk to me right now. I'm not I'm just trying to get a little That's bit of right, dude. I'm just telling I'm not really doing much tonight anyways. I'm trying to get a, I'm trying to get a little insight into the whole situation, right? All right. Another question I had in, in the DMs we had together, you made it, you kind of painted a picture that you were somebody that was like under a contract that you didn't want to be under. And you kind of got, you know, you were a young kid and just signed all these things and now you're stuck doing something you don't want to be doing. Is that correct? Do you feel that way? I mean, I'm not saying I'm doing something I don't want to be doing. I just, I just did sign a lot of contracts, but I mean, when I was a kid, what does that have to do with anything? I mean, I'm just curious. You sound like it from the way you made, you painted the picture in our conversation online. It made it, you made it sound like you were kind of in over your head and stuck doing something. I, I, I know. Yeah. But I, I think you're making a lot of assumptions. I'm not making assumptions. You've told me this in Twitter DMs, bro. You said if it sounds ridiculous, but if I breach my contract, I have to pay four times the monthly revenue of the month I was paid the most in the last four months each month until the contract ends. Everyone involved is in horrible NDAs. You're telling these are the things you're telling me. Yeah, I gotta see who's on that Twitter, dude. You gotta see who's on that. So now, so now that wasn't you that was on the Twitter account. Uh, yeah. I mean, sometimes it is, sometimes it's not. Okay, interesting. Can I ask you a question about uh, Charlotte Dobre? Charlotte Dobre, uh, who's that? Charlotte Dobre is a correspondent for a YouTube channel called Inform Overload. She is basically the host of it, and they did a video similar to mine about you guys about two days later, and she said she also had talked with you, and you also pleaded with her to change the title, and she did, and soon after, that, her video also got botted as well the same time mine was how did her how did her video get bought i would imagine views i think mostly dislikes i believe is what she told me i'm going to be okay. talking i'm going to be talking to her on the phone as well okay i mean you could add her to the call i mean obviously i have no problem with that well i'm just curious i mean she told me in your initial interaction you basically started off the conversation with threatening so youtube, so YouTube told you that her video was bought no she told me Okay, so she's making an assumption that her video was botted because people disliked it. No, dude, it's pretty. It's pretty easy to tell when a video is botted, man. I'm. I, I don't like. Did she lose all her likes and dislikes like you? I'm. I'm talking on the phone with her tomorrow. I'll have to find that out. Okay, well, I mean, that would be helpful to know because it sounds like she's just making an assumption. I mean, if people don't like her content, I don't see what that has to do with me. 
Well, I mean, it just seems pretty interesting that the same thing that happened to her happened to me. Allegedly, I didn't reach out to her. Yeah, she reached out but, to me. But like, but like you said, well, she didn't lose her likes like you. What is? I don't understand what this has to do with me, dude. I feel like you're. I, I feel like you're just trying to accuse me of a lot of things right dude, now. What do you mean? How? How, how does? How, okay, Parker, let me lay this out for you. How does this not have to do with you? Both of us made a video about your YouTube channel. And both of us had very spastic results as far as the okay. views and then how the video was performed. Clearly, somebody in your camp doesn't like being talked about or exposed in the way that you were in mine in her video and wanted to attack our YouTube okay. channel in order to if, do... If, if you can show me an email that, that says her video is dislike it, I'll be interested in learning more about it. But because people disliked your video, I don't understand what that has to do with bots, dude. And I feel like you're wording this in a way that's going to try to get people angry at me. And I have, I don't know anything about this. Okay, let's let's put the bot thing aside for a second. Okay, so I will concede, after talking with Charlotte, I can't say with 100% certainty that her video was botted as well. Uh, you know, I don't have access to her full panel of analytics like I do mine. Uh, but she did say that there was some erratic behavior and the dislikes went way up and then came back down. Um, I have no reason not to trust her, but obviously I can't prove it. Just wanted to state that. Okay, you you're did... Being, you're you, being kind of self-righteous right now, man. Like, how, I, how, I that's self-righteous, dude. I'm literally, I'm relaying to you what she told me, okay? I don't have a reason to distrust her. And it just, it was interesting okay. that we're both in the same situation. I'm not saying I, I, can, I can't prove to you 100%. That she got botted the way that I did. So then, so then why are you accusing me of this if you can't approve of this 100%? I haven't accused you of anything yet, bro. I'm just telling you that she got botted. I didn't say that you did it. You've vehemently, vehemently, vehemently? I fucking, whatever. Ve vehemently, whatever. There's a word. You've <laughs> denied that you did it to my video. And like I said, I, I trust you. I believe you. Dude, but I, I mean, I support your cause. I support the videos you make. But, like, dude, I feel like you're just trying to personally attack me right now. I'm not. You gotta understand, dude, how many times I have to tell you, I'm literally just trying to get, like, to the truth right now. You've been very... Okay, okay, dude, and I tell you, I, I don't know anything about... I didn't even know her last name, Charlotte, or whatever. I think I saw her video, I talked to her, I said, hey, can you change that title? And then I invited her to my Halloween party. And she didn't want to come to my Halloween party. That's yeah, all I know about Charlotte Gold. And, and that is, that's what she told me. She said you started the conversation off by threatening to sue her, and then the conversation ended with you inviting her to her Halloween party. That sounds a little strange to me. Oh, is, it, is, that, is that correct? Or I didn't hear what you said, sorry. Is that correct, what I just said? Is what correct? I didn't hear it. That you started off the conversation with her threatening to sue her, and then the conversation ended with you inviting her to her Halloween party, which seems like an interesting... Uh... Yeah, I, I can't say what everyone on my team does, man. <clears throat> Wait, so now what? It's just conveniently, like, depending on what DMs were sent, like it could have been a different person on your Twitter account? Um, I mean, it could have been. There's a lot of people that go on Twitter. There's a lot of people that go on Instagram. Okay, but every time, I, I literally asked you at the beginning of our conversation if it was you, and you said it was you. It seems to have been. Yeah, because I did send you some messages on Twitter, bro, but, like, predominantly, man, I'm just hosting here. You're just hosting, but you just earlier in this interview, you basically told me that you were had creative control and were making most of the decisions. I know you work yeah, with a lot well, of people, like but... Said, there's a lot of people that have creative control. <clears throat> okay, well... I mean, like I said, I could bring you, I could add a member to the team online who knows a lot more, who can explain a lot better. It's probably going to give you a lot more interesting content than me. No, I do. I mean, you're the one, like, you're the face of the channel, man. I don't feel like there's a better person I'm to talk to. Face, dude. I mean, whatever. I mean, well, I would consider myself more than that, but I mean, a face is a face, dude. Luis is the face of the catchy cheater. He's not, yes, he doesn't have to create and control that entirely. Yeah, understandable. So you have so your your claim is you have no association with Luis or the guys that run no, to catch a cheater. He's just my buddy. I okay. Just talked to him. He's a pretty nice guy, and just hung out one time, and that's pretty much it. Okay. So my next question is regarding you know, uh, anyways. Why do you keep bringing up Luis, man. I just I it, it seemed to me I thought for some reason you guys were associated and. Right. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm just, listen, I'm curious. I thought, like, I thought when we talked, it sounded like you were associated somehow. I might have misinterpreted that. My, I'm just curious about who has such an interest uh, in your channel, a vested interest that is in your channel, probably for monetary gain, that they would go as far as to spend money to bought videos of people that were trying to criticize them 
for making fake videos. Now, and, and the reason I'm wondering this is because you're telling me that you have nothing to do with it, you don't know anything about it, and I'm telling you that that's fucking, I think it's bullshit, essentially. If it's not you, I think it's somebody that you know, and I'm gonna probably upload another video, and if it happens again, that's only gonna prove my point, <laughs> essentially. If, again. if my next video also gets botted. Okay, but, dude, like, I really think you're trying to defame me here, dude. Like, you gotta understand from my perspective, there are hundreds of videos that are created by my content, and no one's ever told me that their video got disliked, botted besides you. And also, I'll say this. If you're making a video, I know you make a lot of attack videos on people. If if they have a fan base and someone gets angry over that, if they're willing to do that, then I don't have any control over that. Dude. I don't have control over my fans. If one of my fans did that, but I highly doubt they did. But actually, I really can't say much. But regardless of dislike bot or like bot, which I find it kind of ridiculous because if it were dislike botted, I would imagine YouTube to just delete the dislikes, right? Why were the likes deleted? Was it like botted? I have I don't no, know. I don't know. So I, I just feel like, dude, you're really painting me in a bad light here, man. And okay. I didn't do anything to your video. I didn't do anything to this other video that really, like, I, I don't even I don't even see how she could even say it's dislike botted. And I just feel like it's just purposely painting me in a bad light, man. Okay, well, all right. So I will say, I, I'm not trying to paint you in a bad light i'm curious are, are, i are you just using me for content man like, no I man know, listen listen kind of buddies or parker parker i'm curious man i want to i want to know what's going on in my conversations with you most of the time we've talked it's been very vague all of your answers have been very vague and anytime i try to get specific you talk about ndas now i don't again like most of what i'm saying is assumptions so, i have no proof i, I, just, like, I, I have no understand. i have no way to prove that Anyone associated with you botted my video, right? Obviously, yeah, in my in my head, that seems like the most reasonable thing. Crazy. It seems the most like the most reasonable thing for me because you know you guys, whether your channel or whoever, probably stands to lose a lot of money if a lot of people all of a sudden find out that what they've been being fed is not real. And again, this is my opinion. Okay, well I mean, dude, like I said, I'll pay for your flights. You can come out here. You can see how everything's made. But, like, I don't I don't understand why you're trying to accuse my content. Like, I mean, these are, I mean, I don't understand what you're doing here, man. Like, I don't understand the premise of this phone call. I thought we were going to talk, and we're just going to talk a little bit like buddies and stuff. And you're, like, coming at me, trying to, like, accuse me of all these things. Man. And then, okay, no, you're not accused. Like, I know you said you're not accusing, but no, you seems like you're being a little harsh on me, dude. Like, I, 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 I think the, the nature, Parker, of, of me trying to talk to you right now is to... I is to really try and is to try and be a little harsh. Listen, I'm trying to be reasonable, but I'm being a little harsh because I'm curious. I know my my viewers are curious, and there's a lot of other people, Parker, frankly, that feel the exact same way that I do. That's why there's been several videos made about you guys, and you've never been able to come out and speak yeah, clearly well, about because, it. Because what is the point of what is the point of even talking about? Like, I mean, what is the point of responding today? It's just because I want to give you more views because I want to give other people more no, views. I, like, listen, I, I, I just kind of want to do my own thing, dude. You know, I want to take care of my daughter. I want of to make course. sure she's got food in her mouth. Of course. I want to get my college degree. Of course. You know, I thought we were becoming friends, dude. You're coming at me. It's like you're asking me all these questions. I thought we were going to be talking as buddies, dude. You're calling me unrestricted. I don't understand what's going on here, dude. Like, I don't know. How, like, I, I don't... Really dude, how do you not understand what's going on, man? You saw the bit, like, I just... You know how I feel I'm trying to get a straight answer, and I feel like I haven't been able to get one. A I'm, straight answer on what? I don't understand. You asked me if I dislike botted a video. I said no. You okay, asked me no. if the videos are fake. I said no. I don't understand. So if you're, what more I can tell you. your videos are not scripted, and every single person that comes on I've that... I've never scripted a single video on my entire life. Every video on your channel is real, 100%. 100% real videos. Okay. Well, I don't agree with you, but that's just my opinion. Dude, if you come here, bro, you can watch how the videos are made. You can hang out. You can go to Niagara Falls. We can, you know, I don't know. I thought we were becoming friends, dude. Dude, know. we've talked a lot. I'm not like, I don't hate you. I'm just curious. Like, I just, I feel a certain way, and I want to get to the bottom of it. So I'm asking you the questions. Now, I'm curious, like... I answer the questions, man. I thought we were talking. I thought we were just doing, like, a nonchalant... I didn't even know you were recording this. Yes, you did, dude. You told me in a DM earlier. You're like, oh, I want to talk to you on the phone. You can use it for a video. You literally yeah, said those yeah, words to me. Said, yeah, but that was, like, a month ago, man. Like, this is, like... You told me you were calling me. Then during the phone call, when it started, you said, I'm recording this. I didn't know, dude. I had cartoons on and stuff. I didn't know I was even going to 
we're going to be recording it. Okay. I literally, I sent you a DM. I sent wondering if you'd like to hop on a call for a statement or some sort of explanation, if you're willing. I want to give yeah, you a chance to hear you your side of things. You were, yeah, I was just saying just a statement. You said, did you dislike bought my video? I said, no, I didn't dislike bought your video. And whoever did or whatever did, I hope is terminated completely from the platform of YouTube so they can never use it again. But that has nothing to do with me, dude. I, I answered all your questions. I don't understand why it's like we're just going in circles here. Well, I'm, all I'm saying is like you knew when I you knew this call tonight was about me making another video. I, I literally stated I'm planning on making a video about the whole experience with the previous video I made out with you guys with about it getting bought and stuff. So you you knew. I'm just saying like don't act like you're uh -oh. like you're like you're blindsided know, right now. Like... Would you think we we're going to talk about fucking the Red Sox and Yankees? Like, what do you think we we're going to talk about? Yeah, maybe, dude. I thought we were becoming friends. Like, I don't know. What? what? Okay, uh, I don't know, man. Like, listen, I got nothing. You know, it's. I don't have any. I don't listen, Parker. I don't have any. I don't have any malice towards you. I just. I feel strongly about this, because I feel strongly about integrity, and I feel strongly about the fact that there's all types of companies and corporations online that are greedy and want money, and they just do whatever right, they can to get that. So they're faking the and doing is, all this bullshit. The thing is. The thing is. Corporations online are always trying to screw a little guy. So, I mean, if you saw my Instagram story last night, bro, you would know maybe a little bit of what's going on, man. But I just, like, I'm not in a good position to say anything that's going to hurt my company, you know? Okay, man. <clears throat> like, I, I don't know, man. I feel like, I, I feel like, I feel like dumb, dude. Like... Can I ask you, do, do any of the do any of the people, the child predators allegedly that show up to the the spots in your video, do any of those guys after they miraculously like get in some bullshit scuffle and leave, do any of them ever get apprehended afterwards so they can't be a threat to other people, or they just kind of bounce and then it's it's whatever, it's just good entertainment. I don't have any information about that, dude. Okay, so you but you do you do say in your videos that you you give the footage well, to the appropriate uh, yeah, authorities. Yeah, dude, I if, if I had information about that, I would be compromising the trial. That's none of my business. Compromising the trial? Is that what you just said? Do you know what a, do you know what a mistrial is with the jury? Yeah, how What do you? How would that be compromised? You literally, at the end of your videos, have a caption that says, we gave the footage to the appropriate authorities. What does that mean? Because if these people were publicized, the jury would have a hard time forming an opinion to convict them. They need a non-biased opinion. Okay, so but so that's why you blur the faces essentially, but you are giving these yes. people up to authorities? Yes. Every single one. You're sending them footage like to the police station or what are you doing? The entirety of the justice must be preserved. The entirety of the justice must be preserved? The integrity of the justice has to be conserved. Conser conserved and in, in what is in what does that mean? Because because do you are you familiar with what a mistrial is? Of course. Okay. So what does that what, that what what does that have to do with sending footage to a police department? That's not gonna create a mistrial, bro. It's their decision whether or not they want to show it to the jury. Understandable, but so what I'm saying is so basically, all of these people that come into the the scenario, these child predators, they leave and then. I sent footage to the police department. I don't publicize the footage. Okay, that's your so that's your answer. You send the footage to the police department, but you don't publicize the footage to the public. Right. Can you, can you repeat what you said? Sorry. Are you saying you send the footage to the police department, but you don't publicize the footage to the public to protect the integrity of the investigation, essentially? Exactly, yeah. Okay. All right, see, there's a, there's a straight answer. I'm okay with that. Uh, I, one, I, I don't want to keep you for too much so longer, dude. Did you have like, dude. a list of questions, dude? Like, did you have a list of questions? I, I definitely had like a couple notes I was curious about. Is that is that a problem? No, it's like, dude, I thought we were just going to be talking, man. Like, I don't know. You're just like... Just... I don't, Parker, I don't understand what you mean by that. Like, when I told you I was making a video 
on what happened with my video, this situation, and you know, we've talked for weeks about how you wanted to talk with me and explain your side of things. And I contacted you tonight and yeah, you, and I you wanna, thought we I were going to be just talking explain, like about I what dude? Explain my integrity or I want to explain what I said, why I was uncomfortable with the idea of the whole mocking missing children title. I mean, I was just uncomfortable with that title. Understandable. I thought, I thought that was because you were presenting his opinion as fact. It just didn't sit well with me, man. No, dude, of, co of course it's my opinion in a YouTube video, man. It's not, I'm not making some sort of serious expose. I'm just calling it how I see it. And, and I understood. That's why I changed the title. I'm less concerned about the missing children. Yeah, thing. I know. I appreciate it. I appreciate it oh, that you changed the title. Yeah, I'm less concerned about that. I'm just, I'm just very intrigued because I feel, I feel convicted that what you you guys are doing is, is fake. And again, like it's not the end of the world. Right. But I just don't like things that are built on again. And this is my opinion. I just, I, I, I value integrity. So my opinion is that what you guys do is, is not, is not what you present it as. But, uh, uh one quick question I get, you have a disclaimer. I watched your most recent if, video. If you, if, if you're going to keep questioning the integrity of this content, why don't you just come out here and see how it's made, dude? I, I don't understand. I don't, maybe I will, man. If you want to bring me out for a day. You, it's like you keep going on in circles, expecting me to admit to something that hasn't happened. Uh, no, I guess we, you've already stated that you feel very strongly that, or you stated that everything is 100% real, right? Dude, all I can say is if you have, I mean, if you have any question about how my videos are created, you're more than likely to come out and you can document the entire thing. Would that not violate the NDA though? If I was there literally recording the whole process? I'll break it for you. You will break it for me if I come to Buffalo and, and record the whole process with you? I'll talk to my team and we'll come to a consensus. I mean, that might be something I'd be interested, man. I'll I'll, I'll think I'll think that over. I, I honestly wouldn't. I'm 100 percent serious, dude. I'll buy your flight tickets. And then after you see how it's made, bro, we can come out, watch some cartoons, and hang out, dude. <laughs> All right. Listen again, dude. I don't. I don't. I'm not trying to like attack you because I'm, I'm. I'm. I think you're a bad person. I just. I'm very. I'm just curious, man. I'm intrigued by this whole thing. Just, can I just ask you one last question? Come out, dude. I'll yeah. buy your flights, bro. No, I don't need you to buy my flights, man. I can figure it out, but we'll we'll definitely. Well, I'll do it because you'll be my guest. <clears throat> we'll talk about it. Are you okay with cats? Cats? Yeah, 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 yeah. I got four of them. Damn, dude, it's a lot of cats. Yeah, my kid loves them. <laughs> just one kid. Yeah, just that one. Um, yeah. Dude, listen, I. I I gotta, I gotta go check on my daughter, dude. I, I left her kind of off for like thirty minutes, so I gotta okay. go check on her. Understood, brother. All right, man. Hey, so, listen, I'm, I'm sorry to ruffle the feathers a little bit. I appreciate you putting up with me and talking to me a little bit. And again, like just for my audience's sake, I can't say 100%. I know that what I'm saying is right. Obviously, these are just my opinions, but I do appreciate you putting up with a little bit of criticism and some, and some, and some interrogation. So thank you for that. And maybe, uh, who knows? Maybe I'll come out one day and we can. Uh, we can yeah, I can sure. spin up a little uh, faux documentary. I think it'd be pretty fun, dude. Like honestly, I think it'd be pretty fun. So, uh, listen, I really gotta go then. All right, dude. That was it? Wow, that was uh, <laughs> that was uh, that was intense. I don't really know. I don't really know what to think about that. Okay, so there it is. Uh, you guys obviously know how I feel about this situation. And like Parker said, I'm making accusations or I, I can't necessarily prove anything, but I do feel pretty strongly about it. But I wanted to present this to you so you guys could draw your own conclusions right now. I'm wondering, like, do I go out to Buffalo to take a look at the behind the scenes? Is that is that a bluff? Is this whole thing, I'll, I'll pay for your flights and bring it out to Buffalo? Is that a bluff? Or are we, I mean, 100,000 100, likes and I will go to Buffalo tomorrow. No, nah, man, I don't, I don't know. It just seems like there were so many inconsistencies from what we talked about in DMs and then in this phone conversation. And just, it's so glaringly obvious for me personally watching that channel or to catch a cheater that they're just, it's just a money grab, man. And it's a bunch of bullshit. And again, I'm not a judge or a jury or an executioner by any means, but uh, I'm allowed to have my opinion and, and you guys know what that is. He did finally give me a direct answer near the end instead of just dodging questions when I asked him, you know, are your videos 100% real? Do you script 
them and he's like no i've never scripted a video in my life they're 100 real so he's definitely sticking to his guns there um you can kind of draw your own conclusion you know how i feel now, i don't know if there's going to be any fallout from this video um certainly if they're willing to spend money to to bot the video to try and silence me again this is just my version of events in my head i can't it could have been a, a disgruntled fan right i can't prove what happened but i'm just playing scenarios um, who knows? Who knows? But clearly there's a lot to lose there. You look at, you know, this To Catch a Predator channel and these To Catch a Cheater is very similar. Both accumulate lots of views, lots of money. And you saw in that interview on Inside Edition with Sam Bavnani, dude just bought two houses in the last year, laughs about it. Clearly there's a lot to lose if you get exposed and people are like, all right, all right, shut this shit down, this is bullshit. So, listen, I'm not out here trying to ruin careers, you know what I'm saying, for fun. These dudes got daughters, they gotta provide, I, I get that, I respect that. I just appreciate truth and I don't like getting jerked around, so... That's pretty much it. I can't imagine. I don't think I'm going to be pursuing this any further unless something weird or drastic happens. But uh, I do, as always, appreciate so much your guys' time. Uh, if you made it this far in the video, absolute legends. Um, thank you so much. Let me know what you guys thought uh, about this video in the, in, the, in the comment section. Let me know what you guys think about this situation. Uh, always love hearing from you. If you could just hip thrust that motherfucking like button for me before you go, uh, nothing elaborate, no big instructions today. Uh, just hammer that thing with your, with your, with your hips. Just hammer it with your, you know, you know what to do. Um, we'll see you soon. Back to our original programming this week. Thank you so much for watching. Peace. Yeah.